Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we are discussing about the simplification of context-free grammar. So in order to simplify the context-free grammar, we need to remove the useless productions and we need to remove the null productions and we need to remove the unit productions. Now, in the previous session, we have seen the useless productions. That means how to remove the useless productions. And today's session, we'll see how to remove the epsilon productions. So, removal of null productions or epsilon productions. So, if our production rules contains any epsilon production, so simply we have to remove that epsilon production, right? So, how can we remove? Just by substituting the epsilon into that particular variable, we can remove the epsilon production. So, we have to go with the, all the combinations. So, let us take an example. So, if S consists of A, capital M and B, and M consists of cap, small a, capital M and B, and M tends to epsilon. So, if you want to remove the null production, so this is called a null production. This is called a null production. So, we need to remove this null production. So, in order to remove this null production, you can see epsilon is for M. Okay, M tends to epsilon. So, you have to apply this epsilon wherever the M is presented in the production rule. For example, go with the yes and take all the combinations. First, write down the production. So, don't remove any production. Write down the production. Now, apply epsilon in the place of M. So, if you apply the epsilon in the place of M, we will get A, B. So, the production will become A, M, B and if you apply the epsilon, we will get A, B. Right? So, one, one second I am repeating, don't remove any production. Just write down all the productions and after that, you can add the productions after applying the epsilon. So, this is already there and after applying the epsilon on M, whatever the possibility, I am writing here. So, check all the possibilities. And similarly, M tends to A capital M B and again here also, in this production also, we are having some M. So, apply epsilon in the place of M. So, again, we will get A B. So, this is the production rules after eliminating the null production. This is the production rule after eliminating the null production. So, this is how we remove the null productions. Right. So, we will go with a, a one more example. See, let us consider this example. So, S tends to X, Y, X. X tends to 0, X or Epsilon. Y tends to 0, Y or Epsilon. So, here we are having a two null productions that is X tends to Epsilon and Y tends to Epsilon. Now, let us consider the X tends to Epsilon. X tends to Epsilon. Now, let us start the production. S tends to so, just write down the production which is there and write down the combinations. So, first, if this x, okay, is epsilon, okay. So, see, if this x is epsilon, then it will be y x, okay. If the leftmost x is epsilon, the resultant will be y x. And if the rightmost x is epsilon, okay, so I will write down here. So, first, first possibility, if x is epsilon, we will get the result y x. If x y x, the rightmost one is epsilon, it will be x y. If both the cases are epsilon, here it is epsilon and here it is epsilon. So, write down all the combinations, it will be y. So, we are getting the three results. Okay, we are getting the three results y x, x y, y. Right. So, all these three things should be written here. So, x, y, x is already there. So, next three combinations. So, if leftmost x is epsilon, the resultant will be y, x. If the rightmost x is epsilon, the resultant will be x, y. If both the x are epsilon, the resultant will be y. So, just write down here. So, x, y, x, y, x, x, y and y okay x y and y now simply the second production hope you understood this one second production so x tends to 0 x 
or epsilon. So if 0 x, so this x, x is epsilon, the result time will be 0. So automatically the result will be 0. And similarly, y tends to 0 y or epsilon. y tends to 0 y or epsilon. Simply you can see here, okay, simply you can see the productions after x tends to epsilon. So the production s is s tends to x. So this is one production and this is one production and this is one production. So here you can observe there is a no epsilon for x. Okay, after removing the x tends to epsilon, we are just substituting epsilon in the place of x in all the possibilities of productions. Coming to the first one x, y, x. So first, uh, let us take the leftmost, rightmost in both the cases. We are getting the three results. We are just applying s tends to all the three results. And 0 x, so if x is uh, replaced with epsilon, we will get a 0. So 0 will be represented. And y tends to 0, y and epsilon. So here there is no place of x, we are writing the same. Right now, now see. So I will write here s tends to x y x y x x y y and x tends to 0 x or 0 y tends to 0 y or epsilon. So after x tends to epsilon, after removing the x tends to epsilon, now. Again, you can observe here, there is a one more epsilon production that is y tends to epsilon. Now, y tends to epsilon. We need to remove this null production. So, just substitute this one. S yes tends to. So, before substituting, write down all the cases. So, x, y, x, y, x, x, y and y. Okay. Now, substitute here. So coming to the x, y, x, okay, if you apply the epsilon here, the resultant will be x, x. And coming to the y, x, if you apply the epsilon, we'll get y. And inside, the, uh, sorry, sorry, x, and here also x, y, and if you apply the epsilon, we'll get x, and uh, y, if you apply the epsilon, nothing, it will be the epsilon, right? So simply use all these things. So we can have x, x, x. So again, it was repeated, no, no need. So s tends to epsilon, there is no s, so just remove it. So this is the production after removing the epsilon production, that means null production on y. Now, same, apply the same on y. So y tends to 0 y or epsilon. So 0 y, you just apply the epsilon here, so it will result in 0. Right, so y tends to 0, y or 0. So, this is a one more production. Now, after removing the y tends to epsilon, the s yes becomes x, y, x, y, x, x, y, x, 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 y, and x tends to 0, x or 0, y tends to 0, y or 0. So this is the production, okay, this is the productions or a context free grammar after removing the null productions. So here we are just removing the null productions. So before removing the null production, just apply the epsilon on that particular productions wherever the variable is having, ha having right? So here you can observe here x, y, x. So we are uh, substituting epsilon in, in place of y so that we got x, x. Can I take this one, this production? So apply the epsilon on place y, we'll get x. And apply the uh, epsilon on y, we'll get x, right? So just write down the production and add the new productions after applying the epsilon. So already previously we are having x as here. So up to here, this is already available. And after that, we are applying the epsilon to the y and we are getting the resultants x, x and x. Right? So, just simply by substituting in all combinations of uh, null, uh, null production, so we can remove the null productions. Epsilon, uh, I mean replacing the epsilon, so we can uh, remove the null productions. Right? So, hope you understood this one. So, this is the final result after removing the null productions of uh, 
the x tends to epsilon and y tends to epsilon. After removing all these things, we'll get the simple simplification of a context free grammar. Right? So, I hope you understood this one. If you are having any doubt regarding this uh, procedure, how to remove the null production, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.